the next question asks, how do you reconcile economic growth and resource consumption? This is an uh, excellent question, one in which governments, individuals, organizations, and businesses have been discussing over the last um, couple of decades uh, specifically. And it's trying to strike a balance between making sure that uh, resources are not depleted and are sustainable, the use is sustainable uh, over time. The trajectory of resource use over the last hundred years has been pretty much uh, towards overuse and depleting available resources as fast as is possible from fish stocks to uh, mineral exploitation, oil, um, other kind of extractive industries. Um, the, the deforestation in the Amazon is, is an example in which you have pressure by the Brazilian population to try to make sure they have opportunities to uh, work and uh, provide food and opportunity for their children and to be able to expand uh, the, the ability to um, provide for a growing population that usually comes with clear cutting and increasing agricultural production in certain parts. There was a pushback against that in the 80s and 90s, a couple of really interesting innovations are trying to slow that, um, but I think overall the trajectory is towards increasing resource utilization and the focus really has been on economic growth in state policy uh, over the last 50 or 60 years at least and that there with the Paris Climate Change Agreement and with other efforts uh, spearheaded by the World Bank and other organizations I think there's an increasing realization there needs to be some kind of regulation in the international level. Um, as Jessica mentioned in lecture, there already has been efforts in the Australian fishing industry to try to reach quotas um, for fishing per year to make sure that the fishing stocks are sustainable over time. Other uh, resources as well are governed more or less in different countries around the world. The challenge is because of the collective action problem and the tragedy of the commons to try to get other countries to try to band together to make sure that resource consumption is sustainable so that you can have economic growth over time without killing the goose that's laying the golden resource egg. So it's it's a challenge and by and large economic growth has trumped uh, managing resource consumption. Um, there are exceptions to the rules and some some highly um, salient ones but, but by and large it, this is a dilemma that um, uh, political leaders within countries and their populations uh, have to try to come to terms about what constraints are acceptable to the greatest number in order to, to safeguard these to increase the shadow of the future for resources. But it's, it's a challenge and one in which economic growth, um, by and large, across the, the, the breadth of, of different kinds of um, resources seems to have, uh, seems to have uh, won so far.